Good morning, everyone. This is Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery. And today we're working on this uh, photograph of this cute little Australian finch uh, that I got off Pixabay for a, a color theory class that I'm uh, teaching in May. So I have started. Here's the photograph. And I have laid down my um, initial washes. I've masked off several, uh, a little bit of the highlights and the whiter areas that you can see on the bird. So I've laid on the, the uh, initial washes wet onto wet for the background, and I've mapped in where the colors are, the blues, the yellows, and the, um, some of the greens I've started putting in. And everywhere where there is a yellow or an orange or a green, I've laid in yellow. Okay, we're just putting in the uh, this beautiful orange red on his uh, on his head. This is a mixture of pyrrole red and lemon yellow. And this little brush that I'm using is called a grainer brush. If you can see that, it has little uneven bristles that make nice um, fur and feathers. So, I will just build this, continuing to use um, these little, this is a uh, new gamboge, and I'm just filling in the little, the texture for the um, feathers in a random manner, trying to leave some um, brush marks. And I'll go back around the, um, <clears throat> right around his eye. We need it to be a little more solid. This is a, um, a Rosemary and Company number five and a Mason brush right here. It's a lovely little um, detail brush. Okay, and that'll be our first layer for that. <clears throat> now if we wanna do the his, his um, legs and feet are very light. This one is quite a bit darker over here, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. And that was just a mixture of um, gamboge and a tiny bit of pyrrole red. Keeping all this, these under layers very soft. And I'm just going to do his toenail, which is covered in um, masking fluid, so we'll probably have to add that later. And I'm just doing a um, very loose wash, just a very light wash of that same mixture to give this um, illusion of his foot right here. And then under here, he's got um, his feathers are quite a bit darker down in here as well. So I think I'll just wet this whole area. That's going to be darker. Comes right down in here. And we'll just go in with a little bit of this um, darker, more orange mixture here. Whenever you're painting feathers or fur, you need to always paint in the direction that you see the feathers going. And try not to be, um, try to give some texture. And I'm seeing kind of just loose. You don't want to be too definite here or 
We don't want a nice smooth wash because then we're not going to really have the illusion of the feathers. His breast is quite a bit darker from the uh, photograph that I'm seeing here. And just make this nice and watery here in here so that's soft. I don't want any hard, anything hard in here right now. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go in with um, some more of this. This is phthalo blue that I'm using here on these feathers. And I'm just um, painting what I see, painting shapes. And just making this a little bit darker in here. And this under here is a nice soft gray. It's actually a little purple gray up under here. So maybe that with a little bit more water in it. That looks about right. And that's all under here. That's the shadow of his underneath of him. Remember, these are just the under washes, the um, the undercoating or the under layers of what we want here. Okay, like that. There's also a shadow up under here that I like to keep. All right. <clears throat> now this color on his breast, the color I'm using here, is called mineral violet. But you can easily make this color or a color similar by using uh, quinacridone magenta and um, believe it or not phthalo blue and that gives you this color right here which is pretty much the same so that's definitely coming in there like that then he has a nice round that comes down into here okay And now this color in here is more of a turquoise color. So you can either use your turquoise, like I have here, or you can mix a turquoise with, um, if you have phthalo blue and phthalo green, that makes a really nice turquoise. And you can see the, indi the uh, individual shafts on a bird's feathers. So this is really too thick of a brush. So I, I like to put them in um, very subtly. These uh, grainer brushes work, but you have to have a very light touch. This one's actually, uh, um, it's also called a rake, but you have to have a very light touch to get these to work the way you want them to or they'll it, it'll look too artificial and contrived if you're if you overdo this so it's better to do a random mixture I actually like this little grainer better I think it works better this is made by Princeton see it gives you finer lines always going for the illusion that there's feathers. Okay, and it wouldn't hurt to soften that a little bit. And we're gonna go back over this with a little more green as well, just to kind of give that.
texture to him. All right. I see a tiny little spot in here that's bothering me. I'm just going to go in here and wash that out there like so. All right. Now we're going to take some of this green that we have here which is, this is a perline green mixed with a little lemon yellow. And the feathers actually on this wing are less obvious. So I'm really gonna be gentle with this. The initial phases here just get the shape of this wing because this is a wing here with a definite shape but it also has a very soft edge so we don't want to define that too much okay then I'm going to add a little more green up in here with that same mixture. A very light touch. And if you don't have one of these little brushes, you can easily use a um, liner, fine liner brush. Or you can actually make these by just cutting random um, using scissors and cutting up an old brush randomly. Let's see, I think all this. You don't want to overdo the texturing on the bird because you want him still to be smooth. He is, a, he is round on top, so you have to make the illusion of form here. All right, I'm liking that. I am going to smooth out these washes on this one wing, though, because I think um, they need to be smoother. This is actually a color called Green Appetite by Daniel Smith. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous green. I want that to be random coming up in there. But I do want this wing to be a little better defined here. as well. And this needs to be round right here. The top of his ring, wing is quite round and this actually feathers back up into here. Into these feathers. We need to do that with a smaller brush though. And I do want to soften this edge right here. Get the green into that. So that's not obviously so dark there. Okay, I'm liking that. I think I'm going to put some um, wood grain into this uh, log here. I'm going to let this dry and come back and decide if we like that or what we need to do next. 